بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹاپک از مونوکلونل اینٹی باڈیز مونوکلونل اینٹی باڈیز آر لیبارٹری پروڈیوس اینٹی باڈیز ڈیزائن ٹو ریکگنائز اینڈ بائنڈ ٹو اسپیسیفک ریسیپٹرز فاؤنڈ آن دی سرفیس آف سیلز دے آر ڈرائیو فرام نیچرل اینٹی باڈیز کمپلیکس پروٹینز ڈرائیو فرام اے سنگل بی سیلز میڈ بائی دی باڈیز امیونولوجیکل ڈیفینس سسٹم ٹو ریکگنائز اینڈ فائٹ فورن انویڈر سچ ایز بیکٹیریا اینڈ وائرسز مونوکلونل اینٹی باڈیز آر یوز ٹو ٹریٹ اینڈ پریونٹ مینی انفیکشن کاسڈ بائی وائرسز اینڈ بیکٹیریا دے آر ایون بینگ یوز ٹو ٹریٹ آٹو امیون کنڈیشنز اینڈ کینسرز ریسرچرز آر کانسٹنٹلی فائنڈنگ نیو ویز ٹو یوز مونوکلونل اینٹی باڈیز ٹو ہیلپ ٹریٹ کیور اینڈ پریونٹ النیس مونوکلونل اینٹی باڈیز از اینٹی باڈی میڈ بائی کلوننگ یونیک وائٹ سیل وائٹ بلڈ سیل ہاؤ آر مونوکلونل اینٹی باڈیز میڈ دیز آر میڈ ان اے لیب سائنٹسٹ یوز دی جینیٹک کوڈ فرام سیلز دیٹ میک اینٹی باڈیز ان ہیومنس ٹو میک مینی کاپیز آف اسپیسیفک اینٹی باڈیز فار بیکٹیریا اور وائرسز these antibodies are all cloned from the same cell which is how we get the term monoclonal antibody how does monoclonal antibody treatment work bacteria and viruses have proteins on their outer surface called antigens monoclonal antibodies attach to antigens and neutralize the bacteria or viruses so it cannot infect our cells Each monoclonal antibody neutralizes a specific virus or bacteria that is uh, what makes them so special. They are made to stop a particular disease. Uses of monoclonal antibodies Diagnostic test Once monoclonal antibodies for a given substance have been produced, they can be used to detect the presence of this substance. Proteins can be detected using the Western blot and immuno dot blot test. In immunohistochemistry, monoclonal antibodies can be used to detect antigens in fixed tissue sections and similarly, immunofluorescence can be used to detect a substance in either frozen tissue section or liver cells. Next is the analytical and chemical uses. Antibodies can also be used to purify their target compound from mixture using the method of immunoprecipitation. Third one is the therapeutic uses. Therapeutic monoclonal antibodies act through multiple mechanisms such as blocking of targeted molecule functions including apoptosis in cell which express the target or biomodulating signaling pathway. Cancer treatment. One possible treatment for cancer involves monoclonal antibodies that bind only to cancer cell specific antigens and induce an immune response against the target cancer cell. Such monoclonal antibodies can be modified for delivering of a toxin, radioisotopes, cytokine or other active conjugate or to design by specific antibodies that can bind with the, their fab regions both to target antigen and to a conjugate or effector cell. Every intact antibody can bind to cell receptors or other proteins with its FC region. Monoclonal antibodies have helped improve the treatment of over 50 major diseases. They are used for example to prevent the rejection of organ transplants and for the treatment of cancer, inflammatory and autoimmune disorders, cardiovascular disease, infectious diseases, allergies, osteoporosis and ophthalmic problems. They have also been shown to help with migraines and reduce high cholesterol. Now the limitations. Human uh, body is very complicated. Scientists originally thought that monoclonal antibodies would be a magic bullet and would be able to identify and treat many medical conditions. 
tests have revealed however that that is not the case the interactions in the human body um, has regu- has resulted in unwanted side effects this means they are not as widely used by doctors as originally thought monoclonal antibodies are also very expensive to produce some ethical issues are also uh, with monoclonal antibodies ethical people disagree for religious or other moral reasons the first step in making a monoclonal antibody is to inject a mouse with an antigen after it has produced antibodies a small operation removes its spleen cells which then continue make the antibodies some people disagree with this use of animals to produce monoclonal antibodies in 200 2006 a drug trial involving human using monoclonal antibodies to treat conditions such as arthritis and leukemia went wrong despite the individuals being given very low doses it resulted in organ failure but was not fatal the monoclonal antibodies had been safely used in other animal trials before being used in human trials this is an example of how careful we must be during this uh, drug de- development formation of monoclonal antibodies an antigen is injected into a mouse the mouse naturally produces lymphocytes which produce antibodies specific to the antigen spleen cells which produce the lymphocyte are removed du- during a small operation the spleen cells are fused with human cancerous white blood cells called myeloma cells to form hybridoma cells which divide indefinitely these hybridoma cells divide and produce millions of monoclonal antibodies specific to the original antigen now the types of monoclonal antibodies uh, first one naked monoclonal antibodies these are antibodies that work by themselves there is no drug or radioactive material attached to them these are the most common type of monoclonal antibodies used to treat cancer next is the conjugated monoclonal antibodies these are combined with a chemotherapy uh, drug or a radioactive particle these monoclonal antibodies are used as a homing device to take one of these substances directly to the cancer cells the monoclonal antibodies circulate throughout the body until it can find and hook on to the target antigen uh, in this way first one is radio labeled antibodies they have a small radioactive particles attached to them uh, every tumor map is an example of a radio label monoclonal antibody this is an antibody against the cd20 antigen which is found on lymphocyte called b cells next is the chemo labeled antibodies these monoclonal antibodies have powerful chemotherapy uh, or uh, other drugs attached to them example include brentuximab uh, an antibody that target the cd30 antigen found on lymphocyte attached to a chemo drug called mmae by specific monoclonal antibodies a by specific monoclonal antibody uh, is an artificial protein that can simultaneously bind to uh, two different types of antigen or two different apoptops on the same antigen now the composition of monoclonal antibodies first murin chimeric humanized and human in the early 1900 immunologist paul uh, ehrlich proposed the idea of a magic bullet conceived of as a compound which selectively targeted a disease causing organism and could deliver a toxin for that organism this uh, underpinned the concept of uh, monoclonal antibodies and monoclonal drug conjugates 
Ehrlich and Ali Mert uh, Kenikov received the 1908 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for providing the theoretical basis for immunology. By the 1970s, lymphocytes producing a single antibody were known in the form of multiple myeloma, a cancer affecting B cells. These abnormal antibodies or paraproteins were used to study the structure of antibodies. But it was not yet possible to produce identical antibodies specific to a given antigen. In 1973, Gerald Such Weber described the production of monoclonal antibodies using human mouse hybrid cells. This work remains widely cited among those using human derived hybridomas. In 1975, George Kohler and Kaiser Milestein succeeded in making fusions of myeloma cells lines with B cells to create hybridomas that could produce antibodies specific to known antigens and uh, uh, that were immortalized. They are Niels Cage germs shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1984 for the discovery. In 1988, Greg Winter and his team pioneered the techniques to humanize monoclonal antibodies, eliminating the reactions that many monoclonal antibodies can um, cause in some patients. By the 1990s, researchers uh, was uh, researcher uh, research was making progress in using monoclonal antibodies therapeutically and in 2018 James P Allison and Tes uh, Tesoku Honjo received the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine for their discovery of cancer therapy by inhibition of negative immune regulation using monoclonal antibodies that prevent inhibitory linkages. Now come to the side effects of monoclonal antibodies including fever, chills, weakness, headache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, low blood pressure and rashes. Uh, some possible serious side effects including anaphylaxis, bleeding, arterial and venous blood clot, autoimmune thyroiditis, hypothyroidism, hepatitis, heart failure, cancer, anemia, decrease in white blood cells, stomatitis, enterocolitis, gastrointestinal perforation or in some cases mucositis. Now the treatment of monoclonal antibodies in COVID-19. In 2021, the monoclonal antibodies therapies Bemlanivimab with Azivimab and Casirivimab with Amidivimab have been found to reduce the number of hospitalizations, emergency room visits and deaths. Both combination drugs were granted emergency use authorization by the Food and Drug Administration. As of December 2021, in vitro neutralization tests indicate monoclonal antibody therapies with the exception of sotrovimab and texagevimab with selagevimab are likely not active against the Omicron variant. Treatment of monoclonal antibodies uh, in cancer. One possible treatment for cancer involves monoclonal antibodies that bind only to cancer cell specific antigens and induce an immune response against the target cell, cell target cancer cells. Such monoclonal antibodies can be modified for delivery of a toxin, radioisotopes, cytokines or other active conjugate or to design by specific antibodies that can bind with their fab regions both to target antigen and to a conjugate or effector cell. Every intact antibody can bind to cell receptors or other proteins with its FC region. Monoclonal antibodies approved by the FDA for cancer uh, including 
including the uh, trastuzumab, rituximab, bevacizumab, tesoximab, gentuzumab, nivolumumab, panitumumab, etc. If you like our presentation, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.